I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm this. What's your name? My name is Father Jeffrey. I'm from Chicago Archdiocese in the United States. And um, your first time here in Medjugorje? Yes, this is my first time here in Medjugorje. And when did you hear about Medjugorje and what did you think when you heard about Medjugorje? Well, I've been always hearing about Medjugorje, mm -hmm. but I didn't have the opportunity to come here. Mm -hmm. So after a parishioner told me we need to make a pilgrimage to Medjugorje, mm -hmm. I was so excited about it because I personally I grew up not having an experience of my mother being beside me because my mother died when I was six months a baby. Mm -hmm. And all along, my grandmother introduced me to the Holy Rosary. Mm -hmm. And as a child growing up, Rosary became my escape to go and say prayers and feeling whenever I'm praying and I want special intention for the mother to intercede for me. Mm -hmm. Mother Mary was the special person mm -hmm. whom I looked as a mother with whom I could talk freely and express my frustrations mm -hmm. and my intentions and my desires. Mm -hmm. And that's probably one of the reasons why I ended up becoming a priest mm -hmm. through the prayers and intercession. So coming to Medjugorje mm -hmm. was a special thing for me because in this place there is something happening. Mm -hmm. It's where heaven and earth meet through Mother Mary. It's a place where people find hope. It's a place where people find healing. When in these past few days when I was sitting there and listening to confessions, mm -hmm. I see miracles happening in people's life. Many people from all walks of the world come here to find hope come here to find the healing people are broken mm -hmm. and I always look at it as a way in which people have been pierced by the sword mm -hmm. which our Mary ex experienced when she stood under the cross mm -hmm. in a world we live in people are carrying heavy cross people are broken and there is no reason why Mother Mary appeared here looking at the history of this country how the people here found hope in our lady of Medjugorje has drawn everybody from all walks of life to come here to find that same hope the people of Herzegovina have found in our lady of Mary I am really grateful that God also brought me here to be part of this Climbing the hills, you see people walking with bare feet on those rocks. Why would anyone want to walk on those hard rocks with their bare feet? The question is always why. It means there is a reason. The reason is faith. The reason is trust in God's providence. They feel by doing that, they are letting go of things that bother them. They are embracing their everyday crosses and allowing God to intervene in their life. Because when you see people walking on those hard roads to climb the Apparition Mountain, to climb on top of that cross, you see God's grace is working in their life. And that gives them a reason to do it because they trust God is working miracles in this place. Mm -hmm. I am really grateful to be here and to experience that too. As a priest, to see that there is a God that exists and there is a God that wants to be with us each and every time. Now the challenge for us, people who watch your channel, People who come for this pilgrimage is, after being rekindled with the fire of love by God's grace in this wonderful place here in Medjugorje, how do we go back to our families, back to our parishes, back to our archdioceses and dioceses? How do we live that out? How do we live this faith out? 
by continuing to pray for the needs of our world. We continue to pray for all the messages that we read about which Our Lady of Medjugorje has revealed and for the peace for our world that is broken. We see war in Ukraine. We see many people suffering in different parts of the world. So, this pilgrimage may rekindle the fire of love and faith in our hearts, but the best way to live it is to continue praying for each other and living it out each and every day. Thank you. May I ask you, you said you, you saw miracles in confession. There are people there, they are, they are, they are, they are scared about confession, what happens? What does the priest think of me? What would you tell them? What is the beauty of confession? What do you well, the beauty of confession is that God wants to heal us. And it is through confession that Jesus says that to his disciples, he says, those whose sins are forgiven will be forgiven. Those whose sins are retained will be retained. And every time through my encounter with people in these last few days, I've been sitting here for confession for about two hours, mm -hmm. listening to everybody's sin who comes and walks. Some people have not confessed for 20, 30 years. And they come, they are frightened. And then I talk to them, I say, there is a reason why you are here. You have never confessed all these years, but there is something happening in your life. And that's why you chose to come and sit next to me here, feeling that through this sacrament of reconciliation, God's grace is going to come to you. Indeed, I have heard one of the most powerful confessions. Confession helps people to let go of their past, to let go of the old, to experience renewal in their life. By letting go of the sins and asking God's grace to come into their life so that they feel God's grace, they feel God's peace. They feel that now God is not judging them. God sees them for who they are and God grants them that peace and there is a big relief. Sometimes they say, Father, can I now give you a hug? Because they feel there is this big weight which they have been carrying in their life and that brokenness they have been carrying has been lifted by letting go and they see themselves as a new person renewed in the spirit of God and feel peace in their heart.